Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Decking Around Kickstarter Edition. Today we are going to be taking a look at any decks that have funded in the past week as well as any new decks that have launched on Kickstarter in the past week and any decks that are going to be ending their funding in the next seven days. But before we jump into it make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So let's take a look and see what is uh, what funded on Kickstarter this past week. Congratulations to Luxury Sword T Playing Cards Collector Set. Congratulations to 666 Emerald Hellfire and Purple Inferno Playing Cards. Congratulations to Mermaid's Hand Drawn Playing Cards. The Sandwich Series Playing Cards. Jason. And Fresh Cuts Playing Cards. And Black Platinum Lords Master Series Playing Cards, which will fund by the time this video is done. So, ending in the next seven days, we have Sneakerheads playing cards. Palm Tree playing cards. Look at that. Five dollars over so far. Yep. New Portraits of the American Indian playing cards. That's so cool. The Thief playing cards gold edition. Perfect. Paisley game. Royals luxury playing cards. Love it. The Western Leather leather pattern gilded playing cards. That's a the mouthful. <laughs> The Jungle Jumble Geometric Animal Playing Cards. The SCP Foundation Playing Cards. I'm so excited. I totally backed that one. The Tycoon Persona 5 Royal Playing Cards. What's that? The Blueprint Playing Card Deck. And let's see what's on Kickstarter this week. <laughs> All right. The first thing we got up this week is the Wind Roses Playing Cards. Um... First off, congrats on already funding six thousand with a twenty eight hundred dollar goal. Nicely done. Two days in, um, twenty eight hundred bucks tells me that it's not being printed by any like big name. Uh, yeah, that's company. definitely under the the standard probably bare minimum four thousand. You'd see with someone like USPCC or Carnamundi. Um, I mean, listen, it's an interesting design. Yeah. I think it's cool. It's a nice not borderless design. Yeah, definitely not my yeah. style either. But it's uh, it's cool. Let me go up for a sec. Is okay. that a one way or a, a two way design? So it is a two way design. It looks like a two way design. Yep, it's yeah. a two way design. Uh, oh. and it's a marked deck, I think. Yep. Hmm. Okay. The magic so secret here. Three ten GSM edge mocking system yeah they did that with the cpu deck as well so they probably have that down pat how they do it yeah uh 500 decks and be printed as many decks as required all right so not a so not a limited edition it's going to print as many as needed yeah i mean i guess limited edition they're I mean, not going to have reruns you know they're not going to have reprints in the future so all right to buy sa playing card company which is the company that makes this deck and the cpu deck um I mean, dude, their prices are killer. Yeah. Obviously, because they're not printing from, you know, a big company. But the cool thing about here's the cool thing. So their um, their prices are killer though at higher price points. At a single deck, you're still right. looking at seventeen dollars shipped. So I know we were talking a little bit earlier about the twenty four deck. Uh, right down one right there. No, yeah. Um, oh, so that's the uh, early bird for one sixty nine, which they still have a couple of. Oh, but yeah. God. Dude, hundred and fifty dollars for twenty-four decks. That's six fifty a deck. Uh, one sixty-nine, one hundred fifty euros. But still, you're looking at probably so like six fifty a deck. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. So if you want twenty-four of these decks, uh, you know that's your price to go. But, yeah. Um, you know, single. It's a little high for a non-reputable printing company. Um, looks like pretty standard ish faces yeah recolored to match the pattern the ace of spades to me honestly is a little lackluster it's just the back pattern in a ace outline i think they could have done something a little more unique with that but it's not bad looking again yeah i agree what's the what's, i don't understand the compass thing so it's uh I'm, I'm guessing because of the wind part of wind roses maybe it's like the north south east west winds it's more of like a, a nautical star than an actual compass. That would be my guess. All right. Um, but again, pure speculation there. 
All right, so yeah, recolor of Daniel Schneider's regel and standard chords. Uh, prime example here, though, of why you should always triple check everything. Redrawn standard courts, not stand courts. Again, small things like that can add up. You may not lose a ton of backers because of that, but I guarantee you there's one person out there who will not back a deck because of spelling errors, as ridiculous as that sounds. As it sounds? No, it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't, sound, doesn't sound ridiculous. It's pretty ridiculous. It is ridiculous, but there are people out there who just nitpick over small stuff for it. They're always looking for a reason not to back. So, um, based on the... De Interesting box. Based on the design, okay. I would have really liked to see like a fan picture as well, just because I like to see the way borderless fans look. But you're a fan, buddy. You're a fan of fans. I am a fan of fans. Yeah, I like the top like box the top though. Box. Yeah, is it is it engraved? Um, I, lost, I mean, it doesn't look like it. It just looks like probably like a metallic or a high gloss ink on a matte back to give it kind of that sheen. Matte tuck. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that's the word I was looking for to talk. Um, I, got, I got you. After, wait, go up. Oh, it is a subtle one way, they said. What is, uh, cool, yeah. Oh, because of the mockings. Uh, after, after four years in the making, after tens of, after tens of attempts, what's that mean? Hundreds of different versions, Winrose mocking system is born. The edge mocking system based on colors is very intuitive, simple, logical, fast. Interesting. Well, I mean, listen, it's a, it's an yeah, interesting there's looking. Kind of a, there's kind of a, kind of a spread for you. you can get an idea of the fan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, uh, I, this is their special edition here. I'm sure the color is similar, just with the background being black versus white. The fan's not bad looking. I do think there's some solid fanning elements to the deck. Um, I definitely think that black deck is a, way better than their that the, the stretch gold deck there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I I'm think not... it kind of loses some of the depth of the ro of the image on the white yeah but again all things considered other than a couple like why, no, why did things? throw that cpu in there what's the point of that uh i think probably just discussion of their printing since they printed this deck as well yeah which nobody has yet so yeah, and I mean, and that's an interesting fact. You know, once people actually get this deck, it, that's when your your printing quality will obviously be. You'll have a reputation to back it, for the time being. Yeah, it's it's it is what it is. Uh, fulfillment by gamblers, all things considered. Kind of, it's it's kind of interesting because they still haven't delivered that deck yet. And if it's them printing it, why aren't we getting the deck yet? You know what I mean. So it must be getting printed by like some printer that they go through yeah that it's them you know yeah i mean it, it, granted with everything going on with covid too it may be that they're printing themselves by renting a printing facility and they just couldn't yeah. because it shut down or something like that so i'd be interested to see what the reasoning is i'm sure on their other campaign there's probably discussion in the updates but uh yeah i mean I've, listen i back cpu so and i haven't gotten the deck yet it, it should be coming shortly though yeah, I mean, let me know yeah, how the uh, how the quality is because it's always fun to see new printers. So yeah, yeah, cool. No, well done campaign again. Make sure to proofread a little bit, uh, but otherwise those price points are pretty solid on the higher tiers. The lower end, it's seventeen shipped, still isn't bad. Um, the Twelve bucks for a deck. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, no, it really isn't bad at all. Like. Uh, my my main concern is if all of a sudden the quality turns out to be subpar because no one's ever dealt with these before. Twelve dollars is on the high end. I feel like ten might have been a little bit of a safer bet, but they've already funded. They've done well for themselves, and it seems like they know what they're doing with the printing, at least from what they've discussed in their campaign. So, I mean, they look good. Yeah, I'm optimistic for it. So, good luck to this to you guys on yeah. this one. Should be interesting. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we have. The... Uh, but wait, go up. Hold on. Are, there I'm were gonna just not a... that one. I'm going to skip that one. We're going to go to the carbon. Carbon. All right. Oh, yeah. Carbon deck. <laughs> so, veteran Nick Nisco is running this campaign. Um, Nick is very meticulous when it comes to setting up his campaigns. He's got an amazing trailer video on this, worth checking out. Uh, two decks involved here. So again, a higher goal. The 
it's just a good looking deck all around. I mean, again, yeah, we had Nick I mean, on this you know, on it's, decking it's around a couple weeks ago, and it was yeah. uh, it was great to see the deck. It's just beautiful looking. It's a great collaboration between, like you mentioned, Luke Wadey and and Nick. Um, and the price what point a sexy on this picture. <laughs> the price point on this though too, you can't beat again. Seventeen dollars on a deck that is coming from USPCC. You know the designer. You know the quality you're going to get on this. I think that's where that $17 price point is a steal on this end. Yeah, Whereas, is, is good. yeah, yeah, no, it's really, it's a good looking deck. Uh, they had some killer early birds on this, so and this is only a two week, two week campaign. Well. So let's see, one time print run of a thousand to twenty five hundred premium B stock. Yeah, this is going to be a beautiful deck. Yeah, I mean, it's gorgeous. It, it looks beautiful um, in person. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of good information on it, a lot of good photography. Talks about the marketing hey, system, which, which is exciting. Um, I'm going to be honest, dude. Like, go up. I, this, I'm not a huge fan of the marketing system. Um, and the only because reason why it is because it's been, it's been pointed out to me, and I still have trouble trying to find it. Um, Once I figured out I was looking in the wrong section on the cards, I quickly spotted it, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm still, like, it's in different sections, you know? But, like, I mean, even, yeah, just for me, it's just not um, as clear as I would like to see it. But... On the, on the other hand, for people who can pick it up a lot quicker, maybe it, it's you know it's key for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's just too something that I really have to myself. If I know what it is and I'm still having trouble with it, then that's a little too difficult for me. You know what though? Give yourself like two weeks with the deck, just staring at it. I'm sure you'd pick it up really quick. Because <clears throat> you want it to be something where it's like, okay, I, I noticed something, but I don't know what it is necessarily. Because then. It's harder for spectators to spot, you know? Yeah, but, I mean, I don't have the best eyes either. So, like, I don't even, I'll be honest, I don't use mock decks. Yeah. You know? um, because with my eyes, probably, it's not the easiest thing, and especially something that is so hidden like this. I think you did a great job hiding it and make it really discreet. Yeah. But for me, it's just, it's too difficult for me to, like, really try to study it and try to figure out what it is, you know? Dude, no doubt. Let's Dude, do. I the think, fan, oh, yeah. oh my god. That They're both gorgeous decks. Absolutely gorgeous so, decks. So good. And like I said, the price point on this is spectacular. Um, I know they're already running short on the add-ons for the carrot cases. So if anyone's yeah. interested in those, it's worth it. Um, they're nicely done with the etching on it and everything. It's really cool. Nick being a Did science... You, who got the odd piece? Who got the odd piece? They haven't. So it's, uh, it's an active auction. I think it ends tonight, it's an Sunday night, yeah. So there's an auction, a multi-round auction, so it's still ongoing. Interesting. Yeah, but I think uh, one of the cool things about it, obviously Nick being a science teacher puts a lot of thought into the design around this, and I know we've mentioned this in the deck specs for the Oxygen deck. I absolutely love the little like scientific add-ons that Nick yeah. puts into the deck that I'm sure we'll see in this one. Offering uncut cool. sheets, cool. Uncut. Everything looks, yeah, and some shirts and hoodies there. Oh, he's got the hoodies in there. They're really expanding it out, which I think is exciting. Um, but yeah, this stuff looks good. I mean, you can't have more information on a, no. a Kickstarter than this one. This is, no, no, this is spectacular. This is what you want to see, especially for the people who like to read all the details. Fulfilled by Gamblers, USPCC printed, where to reach out on social media. Everything you could need to know on this is here, which is amazing. So, good job, Nick. Nick and Luke are going to crush these oh. two decks. Already funded, but again, Already. keep it going. So, good stretch goal on this, and I think 26000 so definitely worth checking out. Let's see what is next. Next, we have the Biome V1. Hi. Uh, fine art playing cards featuring animals from around the world. Okay. Uh, I mean, listen, I think it's it's kind of like cute little art. This is a cool deck for like a kid. Uh, I feel like the the indices and the pips are just way too close together. Is that just me? 
Are they always that close? No, it's cute. It's a cute deck for kids, for sure. Yeah, it's not bad. It's printed, it's printed by USPCC, which is cool. Yeah, on premium bicycle grade stock. Premium, uh, okay. Designed. Hey, at least <laughs> getting the printer right. Yeah, I mean, this isn't... <laughs> Thank you for letting us know, but I feel like this is definitely something you don't need to put on a campaign. Like, it's just, it's it's good information, sure, but, yeah, that's fine. If you drew it by hand or did it in Illustrator, I don't think that makes much of a difference to most people. Um, $11 a deck, $13 shipped. Can't go wrong with this. This is, uh... Oh, the price point's perfect. I mean, it's a fun deck. It's, you know, it should be like an $8 deck, um, $10 deck. So, 11 bucks is good. I think that's cool. Um, you know, it would have been cool to, like, get it a little cheaper with backing it, you know? Um, also, yeah. the, the only other thing, too, is tier-wise, don't uh, don't underestimate the availability of a 3, a 4, a 6, and a 12. Like, having a 1, 2, and a 6 is a great start, but a 3, a 4, a 5, and a 12 definitely would help you out. People like to buy bricks of decks they like. Like, don't shortchange yourself by not having a brick option. You don't have to have a two brick option. You don't have to have a three brick option. But allow someone to buy 12 decks. It's worth it. Um, the other go thing... Up, go up, first one. Go up. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Is there any black in the deck at all? Well, I guess the back of the deck is black. The Joker's in the back, yeah. Yeah, that one. Now what is that, is that a cactus? Oh, there, it okay. Yeah, it's all the different like biomes. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I, I it. it's very intricate. I'd have to look at it in person because I think the render makes it seem a little more complex than it is. It looks like a very busy back though. Busy back. Yeah. Um, the other thing with it, so yeah, and here you go. Like, all right, if you wish to order three decks, please pay for the two deck tier plus shipping along with an extra eleven dollars, total of thirty. Like, yeah, well, it's just add on. Yeah. But then, like, Which, also I mean, includes... Is, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. But, but he should... I mean, that would save him money. I mean, I I don't know if he's doing backer kit, but... Um, is he doing backer kit? Probably not. Doesn't mention it. And fulfillment yeah. is the other thing to touch on with this one, is a shipping... So it does touch on the fact that because of COVID-19, there is a shipping risk within the United States, but also Past worthwhile to... December? What? Wait, unfortunately, shipping outside the U.S. is more expensive and will likely to be delayed past December due to COVID-19. I will contact you personally if there are any issues regarding shipping costs and delays. What do you mean by shipping costs? What does that mean? Yeah. And I'll do whatever I can to get the product out and ship to its destination. I don't understand. So they're probably doing the shipping, it sounds like. Yeah. But how much is shipping? Shipping is $2 in the U.S. and $12 otherwise. All right. Well, I don't understand why they have to respond to. Sh I mean, have to. Reach might, have, out. might have just been have poor word response. choice. Might have just been poor word choice. Um, yeah. I mean, listen. I think touching on fulfillment a little bit more. Again, we've discussed this in the past. Even if you're self fulfilling, say you're self fulfilling. I think it makes sense. It's worthwhile to note um, because then people just don't think you forgot something. You obviously touch on it with the potential of risks, and I think it's great that there's risks there. A lot of times we see a lot of these campaigns just don't have risks in them. Uh, there's a risk for every Kickstarter. Don't be fooled. No matter how successful a creator is, there's always a risk with Kickstarter. Kickstarter themselves will tell you that. So for people to actually touch on it, I think, is crucial. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, listen, I think this is a, a cute-looking deck. I think the price point's on... I think the tiers might have helped a little bit just to have some more there. Um, yeah, five thousand dollar bowl, that's good. Yeah, that's a reasonable price point for what you're trying to print there. Cordelia art. Yeah. Listen, good Rob luck with this. San Jose, my neighbors. Yeah, I think this is a dope deck, so cool. Good luck. It's a ne cute deck. Next up we have the paleo, paleo playing cards. Again, cute deck for kids. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the central colored box inside. It just makes it look like there's a huge border on the card faces themselves, but like I could get over that. Um You know what I'd like I would have liked to have seen? I would have liked <laughs> to have seen that whole image blown up a little more. Yeah. But no, this is so, a, I like the idea of this deck as well. Um what's up what's up with Staling Slowhands design? I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think the uh so that's actually a nautilus shell, not a snail shell. So there's a distinction a there. Is that a conch shell? Isn't it a conch shell? No, that's a nautilus because it's got the uh the segmented parts like you can see the nautilus here on the center of the ace of ace of diamonds as well. I do like the artwork though. Like I think it's uh it's definitely unique. What's in it for backers? For some foremost, you'll help me become a Yeah. Listen, not a bad looking deck. What are we looking at cost wise? Thirteen dollars a deck plus you get a physical copy of the deck. Five pound shipping. Alright, so six dollars. Not too bad. Yeah, uh, listen, I think you know, nineteen dollars shipped is maybe a <laughs> little bit high for this deck. Yeah, it's but coming from the cool. UK, like I guess it depends on who the who's actually printing it. I think that's the biggest question right now. Um, I mean, at least it's consistent. I think it's a consistent. It's cohesive. It's not like all over the place. Like the colors are good. Uh, manufacturers say the card stock offers more superior to early. So they're not printing with any reputable printer. I don't think. Uh that depends. I so this know. reusability and recyclability thing is the deck being designed with countless times, but all the materials involved are recyclable. That's a big thing that a lot of USPCC campaigns are doing. But yeah, I it, mean, there's no way that this is USPCC. Yeah. There's no way. The registration's too straight? <laughs> no, I mean, look at the corners, how they're cut. Look at you the know, I'm just... I mean, this could be this could be also a prototype deck. Who knows what the... Uh... Well, yeah. I mean, the corners are cut weird, though, but... Yeah. But I'd be curious to see who the printer is. I think it's worthwhile. Let's see. My Kickstarter, what's in it for the backers? So we didn't miss the printer here. The cards, each suit. I think uh, that's cool how they show the, the artwork there. It's kind of cool. Again, spell check. Linen M31 car with the black core. But otherwise, yeah, so I'm guessing not... What? Germany, maybe? Could be. Where are they out of? Uh, they are out of the UK. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, Brighton, England. Um... Yeah, so we don't know where it's getting printed. See, and that's the thing, too, with that goal being where it's at. Like, you're not too far off from being able to print with USPCC. Something to consider if the campaign doesn't fund, though it looks like it's pretty close. And with 24 days to go, I'm sure it will fund. But next deck, definitely consider looking at someone like USPCC, where you're going to get a lot more name recognition for your printer, which is going to help drive momentum on the campaign even more. Uh, otherwise, dope looking first deck. Good luck. Good luck. Next up, we have the Testament playing cards inspired by Bible stories. This is, uh, what do we have here? Printed by USPCC. I have retained the back, but added one extra color to distinguish the two. Wait, what? So this is a, uh, a redesign of a successful campaign in the past. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's where the retaining the of the back deck. comes in. Kept the back, but changed the uh, colors. The art deck. Yeah. I mean, okay. listen, it's if this is your thing, cool. Uh, PlayingCardDecks.com's involved. Will's, you know, Will's a big name in the community, so clearly <clears throat> there's some drive eight behind this. Eight bucks a deck. Uh, eight yeah. pounds. Eight. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, 13 bucks, yeah. So what are we bucks. looking at? Just one deck. $15 ship, though. That is, I mean, honestly, that's the best price deck we've seen in the day so far um, for a USPCC printed deck. If this is your style, absolutely worthwhile. I also have no doubt, just looking at this real quick, like, again, Will's involved. I'm sure there was a lot of back and forth there. There's a plethora of information here, which is exactly what there should be. Um, discusses the stretch goals, talks about the cards... Definitely an interesting deck, for yeah. sure. Yeah, nicely done. I mean... Go, let's see that tuck box go up. What's going there's on? a lot of opportunity there for uh, embossing if they go that route. What, what's going on in that, 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 the tuck, though? What do you mean? Like, what is that? That's the Templar cross with some sort of, like, stone texturing to it and that's a spade with looks like a fish right there maybe 
<laughs> Looks like a fish. Looks like a, yeah, I think I that's know. a fish. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But there's a lot of potential there for embossing on it, especially with the texturing of the back there. Very, very uh, intricate looking tuck. A lot of color on the cards. Very bright. Yeah. Yeah. See, it is a fish. It is. Yeah. Is it a, a koi? Kind of looks a little like a koi. I'm not mm. up on my... Uh, my theology. Oh, so it kind of looks like a bot, like kind of like a Bible. Yeah, yeah. Which I think that's is, I think it's neat. That's about a picture of the tuck. You can see it on the uncut where there's the uh, the spine of the book right here, and there's the book pages. Yeah, that, that doesn't look like really the color is not just like if you go down, you can kind of see yeah. more of what it's supposed to look like, which makes more sense. Yeah. No, definitely interesting deck. Uh, where are they at funding wise and funded? So congratulations already, guys. Good luck on the on the remaining twenty three days. What we got next. Next we have peak playing cards. <laughs> well, first I will tell you there are zero pictures other than the trailer, and there's less than five sentences. Um. Corsten, come on, Corsten. Corsten. I, architect, designer, and entrepreneur, I definitely think you have an interesting concept here. Um, from what I can tell of the still frame here in the video, add more details. Significantly more details. Um, you're, you're an architect, bro. Build this thing up. Yeah. Who's printing it? Where is it shipping from? How much? Hold on. Can you? How much is the deck? Um, Wait. What? I'm looking. Limited booklet. Yeah, hold Limit. on, hold on. You can't get one? Is hold it on. like that other deck? Hold on. Oh, one set of playing cards. Okay, $31, guess what? Nope. <laughs> so, so, Steve, which decks would you back? <laughs> Carbon, 100%. Yes. Um, what else is in here? Carbon. Wind roses. Uh, Carbon. Carbon. <laughs> so, again, I actually like the Biome deck. I would definitely back Carbon. Um, I'm already in... Back to Carbon uh, Biome deck. I think it's nice. I like the colors. Obviously, I like ocean-themed decks. Um, Paleo deck, if I knew where it was being printed or it was being printed with someone like USPC or Card USPCC or Cardamundi, like, I'd probably m be more likely to back. I think it's a good baseline, but needs some more work around it. Um, the Peak deck, price point is a big one there. $31 for zero information in a deck that I... Don't know what it really looks like unless the video shows it all to me. They include pictures, include details, go with the printer. $31 is a lot of money. Can uh, we look at that video? Let's see the video. Sure, let's go check it out. I want to see the video. <laughs> there we go. I was like, what? <laughs> all right. As simple as possible. Uh. All right, cool. <laughs> cool. So, uh. yeah. Anyway, what? What? So you you do biome and carbon. and carbon. Yeah, that's that's where I'm at. I think biome and carbon. Uh, other than that. Some potential, but not super impressed with this week. Uh, Wind Roses, I like it, but again, I want to know what the CPU feels like before I'm jumping anything into it. Especially, I mean, listen, that two brick is a is a steal. Two bricks for yeah, six fifty a deck. Such a good one. But you know, six, would you pay six fifty for a gas station deck? That's the question. Like, I don't know what it I mean, feels I, like. I wouldn't. I also, I also like. I think it's a great price. I really do. And coming for, like that's like wholesale prices you know yeah. and i think um you know me personally i'm just not a fan of rose decks i don't um it's for me i think it's very hard to do well, a rose deck yeah. for me that is like justifiable um or it gives it justice that's the word i, I want to yeah uh, yeah i'm just not a so, floral yeah. pattern person either i mean listen i think the fact that they've already funded is awesome uh for sure 
And, and honestly, I, I hope that when people get the CPU deck, like we hear about how amazing the quality and the feel is, because that would be great to see another contender in this, especially a company that's kind of doing it start to finish. That would be exciting. But yeah. for me, even at the deal on the two bricks, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't take the chance just because I'd go for one and I'm not paying 17 or $19, whatever it was for just one, you know, $17, I think it was. So yeah, yeah. well, listen, thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and, and ring the bell <laughs> and ring the bell and make sure to check out the Kickstarter recap next week as well. We drop these every Monday. Thanks everyone and enjoy your night.